Okay, quick tutorial on trees. Um, <coughs> let's uh, create a new layer and call it trees. Okay, so um, tree sort of sort of looks like oh, the opacity is a bit low. Let's go to one hundred percent opacity. A tree sort of is that sort of shape. Okay, but that's actually quite boring looking. Oops. Didn't to do that. Um, that's sort of quite boring looking. So what we're going to do is undo all of that, and we're going to use a thing called dynamics. Um, and the dynamic, I've actually created a dynamic called trees here. Um, but if you want to get, and I can give you a download of that if you want. If you just go to random color, if you want to get started, um, so random color is going to be switching between the uh, foreground color and the background color. So when we do a tree now, oh look at that, looks like the hungry, hungry caterpillar. Okay, so what we sort of find is happening now is it's actually looking a bit more uh, perhaps like a tree should. So I'm just doing you know, some circles there. Okay. Um, so we end up with something that looks somewhat like a tree. Uh, now, we can, by making the size even smaller, we can get rid of the sort of um, the splatters to a degree on the edges. Um, and then just sort of fill that in there. What we're going to do though, is we're going to add a bit of depth to it. So let's create a new layer. And let's call this one uh, highlights actually, highlights. Okay, and for highlights, we're actually going to set the mode to overlay. Okay, so let's set to overlay. I'm going to change. We want. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is having the foreground colour is blue colour and let's drop the opacity down let's go to about 20% and what we're going to do is oops sorry that's the other thing I could have done so we don't go over the lines oh actually um, if I try and colour and see how I'm going over the lines there that's not really that cool is it so if we right click on that layer and go alpha to selection we've just highlighted the that tree there. So now we go to our highlight section and we start scribbling. Notice how it's only working on the layer uh, on that on that selection there. So what we're going to do with this highlight is basically just sort of just try and just sort of swizzle it around, I guess. And this is sort of adding depth, a little bit of depth. We're going to be adding a little bit more depth in a minute. But this is just to add a little bit of um, sort of texture along the line, along the way. Okay, so what we want to do now is we're going to switch off random color and we're going to go to dynamics off. And so now I'm going to be drawing for blue. And the blue is going to be for the dark bit. So if we can imagine that we've got um, the light coming in from the top right corner, obviously the bottom left corner is going to be where it's going to be darkest. So what we do is we just sort of we just sort of fill that in a bit there. Okay, now it actually doesn't look like we're doing anything. Okay, um, doesn't look like we're doing much at all. Um, but believe it or not, we actually are. It's very very subtle. And let's just add a few sort of bits here and there. Um, because obviously it's not a perfect sphere. There's you know, some branches and stuff like that in there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to swap. And this is the highlight. So this is not the shadow. This is the highlight. Because so obviously we've got light coming down that way. We're going to want to just sort of highlight this edge a little bit. Okay, so highlight that bit. Okay, so we should drop the opacity down slightly more. Okay, and then we can also just add a, a little bit sort of around there. Now, I think I had the opacity up a little bit, so let's go down to 10%. Okay, um, and let's try and salvage that by putting a bit more sort of in there. So, so what, we're, so what we're sort of ending up with is darker down this area and lighter around there. Okay, 
Now it doesn't look like we're actually done much, but when we get rid of the highlights layer, see how it sort of really brings out sort of some texture there. And then fight well, second last thing we're gonna do is add uh, we'll call it highlights again, I don't know what we call it, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a soft light. And what we're gonna do with this is just sort of draw in the in the central bit, okay? Just sort of circle in the central bit. You can go off to the sides as well if you want, uh, but it's mainly the central bit that we're sort of concerned about. Let's increase the capacity a little bit there. Okay, uh, so you can just sort of play around sort of stuff like that there. Okay, so that looks like quite a nice tree. Uh, the final thing we're going to do with the tree is add a nice little shadow. Okay, so let's call it shadow. And let's have the shadow under the tree there. Let's choose a darkish grey. So this is 25% grey, well it's actually probably 75% black. Um, and let's, how big is that, okay, let's drop the opacity down to maybe 11%, and oops, we're going to select all, and so what we're going to do is just, and there you have, a tree um, with a bit of a shadow so you, it, you can really just sort of the shadow it depends obviously you know to taste um, that's probably a little bit dark um, a cheats way is just drop it down like that and then if you go too dark and then you sort of go over it again um, or increase the opacity of it so obviously you want it darkest closest to the tree and then just have it sort of blur out sort of further away and that that sort of makes quite a reasonable looking tree in my opinion and it's it's quite easy really